Now let's get into some real talk. It's time for story time, everyone. Why don't we just dive right on in? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So for this video, I thought I would try this fun challenge that uh, I saw online. It's a Sims 4 challenge called Breed Out the Weird. And uh, it's been on channels and people have been doing this for quite some time now. But I got the inspiration from a YouTuber I follow. Her name is Kelsey Impeachake, um, or her YouTube channel is called Kelsey Dangerous. So I'll make sure to put a link down to her channel down below. But basically what the challenge is, is you start with a Sims character that has very weird features. So it could be like a weird nose and a weird chin and like weird eyes and like a body and things like that, that are just odd. And basically what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to get a super attractive Sim and then they... We test out their genetics together for a person, um, like a, a child of theirs together. And you can do this five times. And uh, we just kind of see if the weird gets uh, breeded out genetically. Now, this isn't a video where we're going to judge like actual features that some characters have. Because you know what? People in real life can have these features. This is more just a fun, silly game that we're trying out. So I thought we would just try it out and see how it goes. So why don't we just dive right on in? Okay, so basically what we do is we find a character and we uh, just kind of see what it's, uh, what uh, we want as a thing. So I'm just going to do a search online for Breed Out the Weird. And uh, we're going to just kind of see if we find anything. And we're going to start off with a super funky character. So Breed the Weird Challenge is uh, kind of what it's going for. So I love this one right here, actually. I think this is perfect. So we're going to download this Sam. And go with her. Her name is Misty Goldstein. But uh, I think I like this one. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to save the household to my library. And uh, we're going to go ahead and open this sim up. All right. So here's Misty Goldstein. She's right here and she's looking quite lovely. Um, we're going to ensure that we don't do anything to her. And we'll just kind of see what she kind of looks like so there she is she's got quite a nose and a chin and hair and eyes and features so now what we're going to do is we're going to add a an attractive person or a sim considered attractive person uh, for her so I'm just gonna go with attractive and uh, we'll go from there so I really like this guy so I'm going to go with him. His name is Kaysen Westfall. So we're going to go ahead and merge him with the household. And we're going to have uh, Misty Goldstein uh, have a baby with Kaysen Westfall. So we're going to go ahead and play with genetics. And what happens is we're going to have them start as ch a child. And then we randomize the child three times. And then we go ahead and age them up to an adult, a young adult, and we see, and that's our final result. All right. So let's go ahead and have Misty Goldstein be the other heir. So here we go. So I'm going to randomize the daughter. One, two, three times. So there we go. So this is the daughter. Uh, still has the same eyes I see and um, we're going to go ahead and make them again adult. All right so the eyes and the eyebrows definitely look the same but she's looking pretty good I'd say. So I'm not supposed to really touch anything like customize anything. She's a very busty lady like her mother 
And uh, thank you so much, Kaysen, for your services. We're going to ask you to leave now. And over here, we're going to have um, we're going to have Misty the second. Um, so there we go. And now we're going to find a spouse for Misty. I really, really like this guy. His name is Ryder Aylwood. So we're going to go ahead and add. We're going to see what kind of child him and Misty the second have. So we're going to go ahead and play with genetics here. And we're going to have Misty the second with Ryder. Okay, and we're going to randomize. We're going to actually do a sun instead, and we're going to randomize it three times. One, two, three. Okay, so there we go. The nose is getting better. We're going to now agree to that and age him up into a young adult. He's looking good. Still has got a bit of the eyes, but the brows seem to have done well. Let's go ahead Okay, the eyes and the lips definitely stayed for sure. But other than that, he's not that bad, I'd say. Um, so we're going to go ahead and now see what kind of a child that Misty, we're going to call it Misty again. Misty the third now. Misty three. All right. Thank you so much, Ryder, for your time in the family but uh, your service is now done and now we're gonna have someone uh have a child with misty the third so let's go ahead and do that right now i'm sure we will find someone quite lovely so i really like this lady her name is lola evans i think she looks adorable so we're gonna go ahead and have Lola join the family and she's going to have a child with Misty the third. So here's Lola. She's quite beautiful in my eyes, I'd say. So we'll go ahead and play with some genetics and see who Lola and Misty the third will have. And we're going to have a daughter. So we're going to randomize in one, two, three. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. The eyes seem to have gotten better. The lips are still a thing, but uh, we're going to see. Let's go into our young adult. Oh, yep. The lips are a thing. The eyes seem to have gotten better though. They're not as big and wide, but she's got some lips. I also see that the breasts uh, have been reduced a bit. They're not as uh, voluminous, we'll say. But uh, thank you so much, Lola, for your time with the Misty fam. Well, with the yeah Misty family because they're all Misties. We're gonna go ahead and call this Misty the Four. So we have one more uh, for Misty here. So we're gonna go ahead and add one more person here. And I think I saw one that I really liked. Yeah, this guy here. His name is Chase Riley. Chase got them cheekbones, I see. So we're going to see. Yeah, Chase has like gorgeous features. Um, so we're going to go ahead and play with some genetics and see what Misty the fourth and Chase would have as a child. And it's going to be another girl. All right. And let's go ahead and add Misty the fourth. Play with some genetics. All right, randomize one, two, and three. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Looks like the lips might still be big, but not sure. We'll find out. And we'll go ahead and make them a young adult. Okay. Well, not bad. You know what? Could be a lot worse. Thank you, Chase, for your time. But uh, Misty the fifth Riley is going to be our final child here in this challenge. And we're just going to go ahead and kind of go in 
and change her up a bit. I can't change any of the features except for like hair and clothing. So I don't mind the hair she has. I like the color, but let's see what she'd look like with longer hair. You know what? She doesn't look bad with long hair. What about if we did an updo? Would that... Okay, an updo is not bad. Uh, hmm. You know what? Let's do long hair kind of like to kind of frame the face a little. Not bad. I actually like this hair a lot. So mm, that's also some nice hair. You know what? I think for her, I could see her wearing hair like this. Mm, I'm changing my mind. Going through a lot of the hair. You know what? I like this hair on her. So Misty, you've got this hair on. I don't mind your glasses. I think they're quite nice. We're going to go ahead and add some different jewelry, though. Earrings. So why don't we go ahead and add... I always enjoy this. So there we go. Your glasses are nice, but maybe we'll go with a black frame. Yeah, I see her as more of a black frame kind of girl. Very nice. How about we go ahead and add some makeup? Just a little bit. We won't go too crazy here. Why don't we add some lipstick? Um, there's this nice shade i think no i really don't like this we're gonna go with this lip here what if we went with that you know what i think that's nice just a just a bit of like a nude lip for her i think that would look good we're gonna go ahead and add a bit of blush to her cheeks um not this though we're gonna go with something a little more subtle there we go yeah, a nice little pink there. We're also going to add um, maybe maybe hmm, some eyeliner. Maybe just a little bit of eyeliner. Make it a little bold. There we go. Not bad, not bad, I'd say. Now let's go ahead and change her look. So for her, I kind of want her... She looks like she's like a fashion designer for some reason i'm getting that vibe from her so we're gonna give her like a fashiony look so i kind of like the jacket she's wearing now but we're gonna try and amp it up a bit so let's look for like a nice um suit jacket maybe something like that Ooh, that's very nice actually on her let's uh you know what i think the orange Ooh, the yellow's nice too you know what i think the orange mm. Oh yeah, you know what? The orange is what I like the most. Uh, we're going to also change her pants. And we're going to give her some nice pants. Some business pants. I'm not a fan of that belt that's uh, with it though. So let's go with this. Yeah. Just some like nice slacks there. We're also going to go into her accessories. I'm not a fan of the bracelet. We're going to give her maybe a watch. Actually, no, this nice bracelet here. She's got a lot of rings on. Let's do her fingernails first. Let's go with something hmm, just a little subtle here. Maybe, maybe like a nice... Uh, let's go with something like hmm, white. Actually, you know what? I see her more as like a black nail girl. And let's go ahead and add, let's change up her rings a bit. Let's just leave her ringless. Yeah, I think that's nice. And let's give her a nice shoe. We're going to give her, I think we'll give her a wedge. I think a wedge would look good on her. You know what? These actually are really nice. Actually, you know what? I don't think a wedge. Let's go with, uh, hmm. I'm not too sure. Maybe a lace-up? Or a boot? I don't know. She's more of a wedge girl, I feel like. But I'm not liking these wedges. Actually, this wedge is quite nice. You know what? I changed my mind. We're going to go back to this wedge. It's a nice wedge, I think. And uh, there we go. Misty the Fifth Riley. Let's randomize her attributes so she is self-assured. 
she's a freegan, and she's a perfectionist. So what I kind of see from that for her is she's someone that wants to get into like the fashion industry. Um, so I don't know, maybe some creativity here and maybe she, hmm. I don't know yet. I don't think so. Maybe something with knowledge. Hmm. I think, you know what, she'd be more of a wellness. Interesting. You know what? I think for her, she's more of a city gal. So I'm going to go with the city native here. She loves city life. But uh, there you go. So from Misty Goldstein, we went to Misty the second to Misty the third to Misty the fourth and now to our beautiful girl Misty the fifth um which you know what I'm not I'm not I'm not upset about this I think she looks great she's got big lips and uh she looks lovely you know what I really enjoyed this but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope uh you just had some fun along the ride with me and uh, curious to see if you'd like to maybe see me try more Sims 4 challenges, something like this. Not too sure. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Check me out on my Patreon or on any of my socials. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.